underneath, but it's massive. Just a little bit. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it didn't work out very well. All right, we are gonna get this thing put together. We got this in, I think about a week ago. Try taking out the grill and realize that we need to read the instructions to see what we're doing because it has wheels on one side and then the legs collapse. So lay it upside down first. Yeah, so then we'll assemble the wheels and some of the okay. Yeah, the knobs. Well, there you go. Right. Step one is to install the wheels and then looks like the knobs in the front. So we're doing the tray, it looks like underneath with those two large thumb screws. Step two, so far instructions seem pretty straightforward. Wouldn't you think trays have edges? Step three looks like the two side ones. Yeah, those are just gonna slide in right here. Nice, there we go. Blacks don't have? I know. Oh. oh! Oh, wait. Is this not supposed to come off? No, it's supposed to come off. It's taking off the paint. <laughs> that's it's some... taking off the paint. I mean, it looks It looks smooth, with it. though. It's maybe it's supposed to. No, it's not supposed to. It's definitely. No? No. Alright, well. Black you got a problem. The paint, luckily you can't tell. We had a scratch, but. You can see the scratch underneath, but. <gasps> so, yeah, these easy little to yeah. put on. These little screws are awesome. Got four is the handles. That's how it works. <laughs> Looks like she's doing a TikTok to me. Are you watching Brave? Where is she? How are you watching her if you're... All right, very good babysitter. Top of another person. Place the griddle top. Griddle, I forgot about that. Um, so much fun to do. So excited for that. Whatever you want. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. to get some hibachi grilling going on. So we did step five of the griddle top. Grease cup on the back of the griddle. Okay, looks like it. Doesn't have that in the instructions. I don't think you Next, we're using these two guys. What are you doing? <laughs> the pro propane holder? Yeah. Propane yeah. stand, hanger. <laughs> yeah, it's the same thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're just gonna get it, put it in there. And just stick it on. Cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Grill box. Yeah, cool. So it's kind of the same thing. Just yeah, it looks it. like it. So. All right, so we got the barbecue all put together a few days ago, and now I'm kind of looking through all my Blackstone packages they have of all the fun little kind of kits that they have. We're gonna barbecue tonight and kind of use some of the products. And Josh really wanted to make carne asada. I'm not a fan of it. I don't normally get that kind of meat when I go out to Mexican restaurants, but he loves it, I guess. So he's gonna make that. I'm gonna just try and use some of the little, I mean, cause I did buy like a, I don't know what it's called. It's called a Fiesta kit, but it has all the fun like 
bowls and um, it's got like tortilla press. We might do an Asian one tomorrow maybe. So just really kind of trying to have fun with this griddle and make different things. Um, so I just want to show some of the stuff that I got in the packages. Salsa combo bowls and this I did get off their website. Got two of the medium sized ones and then two of the smaller ones. So I'm not sure what I'm going to put in them yet. And then it also came with a big 50 ounce salsa bowl. Lots of fun bowls. Also came with these really nice taco holders. So these are super cool and nice. Two of these, taco and fajita seasoning. A tortilla press. So I guess you just smash it in here. A 12 inch tortilla warmer. It's massive. Just iron divided serving dish. So I guess this is where you put more of like the condiments or you can probably put, um, I probably will want to make some like fajita veggies, like bell peppers and onions. So I probably can throw those things in here. So it's got this really nice wood base and then it's got the little cast iron. So it's really heavy. So I got two sets of these. I thought this would be fun. I love the idea of the griddle because you can use it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So I got the pancake little dispenser. Greens. So you can make just perfect little eggs. It has a lot of really good stuff in there. So it came with one of these spatulas. There's I think three different kinds and a scraper. Nice and heavy duty. A scoring pad with a little handle. Cleaning shakers, really nice. The squeeze bottles to put oil or whatever kind of stuff you want in them. Try and get our barbecue started and see how that goes. First try was a fail. With what? The this thing. Oh no. I didn't stick the. Nice. Kind of worked. The top part. Oh, still like little ones. Yeah, you gotta probably clean it.
Either. Flip it. Josh started up the grill with the meat and the tortillas. Um, I made the tortillas back there and they were not very easy. The press was definitely not flattening them out very well and they're getting stuck. So that was difficult. They're really, really thick, kind of like pita bread. So that'll be interesting. I'm gonna start on the guacamole and then I have salsa I'm gonna pour into one of the bowls. So just trying to gather it all together. There's so many components. Hopefully it turns out good. He's gonna put the veggies, I think, on the grill and it'll be almost done. So far, so good. The grill looks great. It's cooking everything good. So um, just finishing prepping everything and see how it all comes together. I guess they're done. How's it going? Oh. Meat's done? Yeah, pretty much. I gotta check this one, but... Yeah, yeah thick guy. And do you chop it up at that point? Yeah, I'll cut it for Okay. You. No, you gotta eat it like that. Oh, that sounds like... That sounds tricky to cut it before, or now you cut it after, so it's not... That's it, right? Yep. Right, my battery is starting to die, so... But we have the meat brought in, the veggies, which is just bell pepper and onion for me because nobody else eats veggies. I made some guacamole. I just did some avocado, onion, lime, salt, pepper. We don't do cilantro. I just don't like it. And then poured in some fresh salsa and then some of the blue chip organic tortilla chips. These are really good. Um, here, I'll show. These are really good. They're made with the good oil and no bad ingredients. So, all right, something else I'm making is just some Mexican, I guess it's Mexican cauliflower rice. I don't know, Spanish, Spanish cauliflower rice. I just put in some um, tomato paste, some salt and pepper with some cauliflower rice and I just get it nice and crisped up a little bit. What's in there? Tortillas, but they're almost like pita breads. <laughs> oh, but you might like them still. Looks so good. <laughs> were they supposed to be like pita breads? Or? No, <laughs> they were not. <laughs> right here's the aftermath: of the meat, the tortillas, the veggies. I did some cauliflower rice. Hey, spray. Where's your food? I don't know. Nyla's using the little pita <laughs> bread. Making it almost like a pita. <laughs> Jolby's got a little cheese one. Quesadilla. Yeah, some parts are. Good, and got the rest of the tortillas in here. Alright. Alright guys, enjoy.